the ultimate ball for the ultimate game of beach volleyball. Hey, 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 how's it going, guys? We're back yet again with another calendar wallpaper image creation video. Uh, this time we're doing the image for September, and yeah, we're going to go with a beach theme, in this case, beach volleyball. Uh, due to the size space, we're going to have a 2 vs 2, so we've got 18 on one side, Krillin on the other, and joining Krillin's team, we're going to have the 1.0 Gohan, and joining Android 18, we're going to have Lunch. So yeah, I thought we'd mix up this month with um, some other figures we don't normally see, hence the 1.0 figures on the right, and obviously lunch since she's new, and I figured 18 is going to be the perfect matchup. Uh, so yeah, the uh, chicks versus guys for this round of beach volleyball, and depending on the layout, might try and put in a couple of characters behind as well with some small accessories to kind of fill out the scene. Uh, so yeah, so that's the game plan. Um, I've already got a background taped with a back, a nice beach one, and then I also extended that onto the bottom so it's a nice sort of sandy colour, opposed to just having a white base. Uh, for the net, I've got these kind of gutsha poles if I'm actually a light, uh, like street lights. Uh, but it kind of works quite good. I've got some mesh kind of for knitting um, material here. Um, it's not the best looking net, uh, but I feel like it should do the trick, at least for this image, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, what I'll do now, we'll take the figures out and start posing up, and then we can start setting out the whole scene. Okay, so we've got lunch, 18 set up now, and we've got Krillin and Gohan on the other side, uh, and then they're basic, very... <laughs> Pretty bad posing at the moment, just to get an idea of how things are looking. Uh, once we're ready, we're going to finally adjust each figure into the right pose. And then we will have maybe a stand holding Krillin up. Uh, because the plan at the moment is, is we're going to have Krillin spiking the ball down. 18's here ready to kind of stop it. And with um, lunch and go on in the back. Um, now in terms of the ball... Uh, we're going to use Gordo's head. I think this is going to be one of the best options to use. Uh, it fits in. So this will be floating up here. And Krillin will be spiking it down. And yeah, so we'll try and get all that set up. Maybe do a test shot, see if it's looking fine. And if we have enough space, we'll put in Roshi on the back here. And maybe set up a deck chill and barbecue or something. Okay, so we've got everyone set up in their poses now. We've got Krillin on a stand, ready to spike the ball. Uh, with... 18 ready to intercept and then with Lunch's backup. Uh, Gohan's just done a dive, smacked the ball all the way up, ready for Krillin to uh, take the win. Um, so yeah, that's the game plan at least. I think yeah, overall they're looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, so I'll take another test shot and if it looks quite good in camera, uh, then we can try and get the shot with the head as well. Uh, for this we'll probably just use a little bit stick or something to hold it up and then we can Photoshop that out later. And yeah, then we'll chuck in some extra items in the back. Okay, so the test shot's up on screen now. And yeah, overall I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, so we'll continue with this uh, sort of setup. And yeah, let's get some accessories out. Okay, so I've got Roshi here with a deck chair, which I feel uh, kind of fits in pretty well with the uh, beach theme. So I think maybe just chuck him at the back here. And I've got a little bit of barbecue with some uh, kebabs. Put that next to him. Also got a chili bin, which is pretty cool. I don't really know if I need to have it open too much, but maybe just have it there with a couple of drinks on top or something with an ice pack. Got some tongs. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Not sure if we want to have something on the right back here. Uh, so we'll have a wee look through the camera, see what it looks like. Take a test shot and then we'll go from there. Okay, so the test shot is looking pretty good. The left side is definitely very heavy though, so we need to move some stuff over to the right uh, to get a bit more balance. So whether we move Roshi over there or get some more accessories, not too sure. So I'm going to check what I have and then have a couple of play around with the options. 
and then I'll take the final image. Now since this is at the beach, it's meant to be nice and bright. Uh, so I don't need to do anything too drastic with the lighting. I've got one top light coming directly down and then one from the left and right on the angles just to fill it in. Uh, so we'll take the image. We're going to probably need maybe two or three images. Uh, one focusing on Krillin and then lunch and maybe Roshi and then we'll get one with the head as well so I'll probably put that on a stick dangle it here take a single shot so yeah let's uh, take all those images and jump on to the computer for editing okay so we're on the computer now I've got the images that we're going to use and before we jump into Photoshop we're just going to make some basic adjustments uh, using the levels here just to kind of bright out the bright areas dark out the darker parts and just increase the clarity uh, ever so slightly just to make the image pop a little bit more um, and yeah so what I'll do since all these images are the same I'm just going to copy the adjustments from one and apply it to every other image uh, so all these images are the ones focused on a different character uh, so the next step is going to be opening this up in Photoshop okay so we've gone open up in Photoshop now um, each image is on a separate layer and as you can see it's turned off that one and this one's focused on lunch, and then we've got ones focused on Roshi, Gohan, and then Krillin. That's the base. So we'll select all the layers and we'll auto align. Okay, so now they're all perfectly aligned, uh, we can go in and yeah. So Gohan is in focus here. I mean, he's not too different from the base layer though, now since they're pretty close. The next layer, we can see a bit of a different set with a pole. Uh, so we'll start with this one, we'll add a mask, we'll fill it with black and just getting a brush. I'll uh, we'll use white and just slow down the feather and we'll just slowly paint in Roshi. Uh, so this is making him all nice and sharp in the image. Uh, so this step we'll do for every single layer, focus on each character just to bring them in uh, so we don't have any character out of focus in the final image. Now the one that needs the most work is kind of a head, um, which is acting as a volleyball because uh, there is the stand on it as well. Uh, so start off with just going to get the whole head showing in there and then we'll just tidy up the edges a little bit and just kind of make a selection around the stand and then just remove the masking there with the black paint. Okay, next up we've got that also, we'll just do the 16 by 9 crop and yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, so what we can do, we can select all our layers and then we can merge visible. So this will make it into one final layer. And the next step is to fix up the side part. So this is going to be nice and easy. We're just going to use the uh, lasso tool, make a selection and we'll try the cheats way of doing auto fill, uh, which worked nicely for the left and the right. The bottom was okay, but there's still some bits there from the paper that was sticking out. So we'll just blend them in by using the clone tool, just kind of slip the area above and just work your way over each part and, until it blends in. So yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Um, the next part is to fix the seam between the back and the base. And to do this, just going to make a selection around the area we want to tidy up. And then we will use the clone tool. By having the selection, it means that we're keeping it in the area only when we use the clone tool uh, so we don't affect like the chili bin or anything like that so yeah you just have to go through and make the selections and use the clone tool to feather it in sometimes using a slightly lower opacity to blend it in smoothly uh, the main goal is just to have it looking nice so when you zoom out you don't notice the transition uh, from the background to the base uh, some of can be a bit more trickier, especially with the shadow, so yeah, kind of take a little bit of an uh, artistic license there to see how the shadow would look or not. Uh, my rule of thumb is if it looks fine when you zoomed out, it's all good. Okay. 
Okay, so my computer had a bit of a hissy fit and didn't like me editing at the stand, uh, so we don't have that part on camera, but I will quickly explain how I removed the stand from this image. Uh, so as we sort of toggling between, that's the stand holding up Krillin. Uh, the main part that was a pain was the fact that I didn't really think it through much of the image, uh, so the stand is blocking Roshi's foot. So what I did, I made a selection around the area that I want to remove, Use the clone tool and painted it in on a new layer. And then I just applied a mask and just, yeah, erased the parts I didn't want until we had the perfect Roshi shoe. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but zoomed out, you don't really notice. And it's not really a focus of the image itself. And the same was done for the part around Krillin's waist. I just made the selection and then using the clone tool, I uh, picked areas of his body that match the same color, sometimes the same curves, and use that to fill in the area. And you slowly build it up. Uh, the rest of the stand parts was a lot easier. That was kind of removed in the same way as the background and foreground gap. Uh, just making a selection and then using the clone tool uh, to fill it in and make it smooth. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to download the final image uh, for the September calendar wallpaper image you can do that on rockchallow.com which is linked below and as far as these video editing behind the scenes videos go uh, there will be a couple more this year but I'm also in the process of setting up a way to do a live stream editing run through uh, kind of explaining the processes of editing images uh, so please stay tuned for that hopefully I'll have it up and running within the next week or two uh, but when I do I'll be posting it on Instagram on discord as well as the uh, YouTube community so if you subscribe you will be able to find out straight away so yeah again thank you very much for watching until next time cheers